All right, you guys, I want you to get in the mindset of the same advice that I feel like we give to every intern every semester. That doesn't make Caitlin's situation any worse. It's just that take yourself back to a situation when you were like 22, 23 years old, and you started comparing yourself to some of your other friends, and you just felt, here I am. I'm in third place. I'm not really sure what the trophy is, but I'm in third place right now, (laughs) and you're just disappointed by it. Hey, Caitlin. Hey. Is that how you're feeling right now, like questioning where you are in life and how comparing yourself to friends? Oh, yeah. Well, I just, I keep seeing on Instagram feeds, Facebook feeds, everything just, oh, I got engaged. Oh, I'm moving to a new house. Oh, I got this perfect job, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just here like, yeah, I went back to school. And I mean, I have an internship, which is an awesome internship. But everybody else is just like, oh, yeah, we're ready to get married, ready to start a family. And I'm just like. Um, I'll, I'll stay and travel and stay in school and be single. <laughs> but that's what you want to do, right? Oh, yeah. Well, then that's all that matters. And that sounds pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a person who just had a baby, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Those that are married and having babies are looking at your Facebook pictures and your Instagram pictures and your snaps going, wow. Caitlin sure has it together, man. Yeah. That life right there. They're like, dude. this baby's cool, but yeah. Rube is pretty cool, too. <laughs> hey, too my husband. <laughs> right. You can't trust what you're seeing on social no. media anyway. Here's, you know what? I was going to bring this up later on in the week, and maybe I still will. Facebook, it's so fake, man. Instagram is so fake. When I was in the Galapagos on that trip a couple of weeks ago, I'm posting all sorts of pictures of me and the family. We're smiling. We're hugging. Do you know how much tension there was between Tiffany and I all week long? It was a freaking Academy Award in those pictures, man. Let me tell you, it was like five of the seven days we had tension. What's that? I think that's how any family trip goes. You always post for like the pretty pictures, but nobody's ever really happy in them. <laughs> well, take it out of vacation. We, I mean, and and that doesn't happen to us on every family vacation. But my, what I'm trying to say to you is that you're looking at pictures of your friend's life. They're having their, they're smiling all over the place. But you know what? Chances are really good their real life doesn't look like that. That's their best of album right there. This is true. Or that's probably very true. <laughs> there, there are some people like yeah. You want your friends to be happy. You want them to be accomplished. And so maybe those things are true. And they're, you know, not posting everything, but maybe those things are true. And you can be happy for them. And it's all about changing the mindset. Like, I have people who post really happy stuff, and I'm happy for them. But you got to focus on you and what you're doing and not comparing mm-hmm. what you're doing to other people. Yeah, it, are you happy? I mean, that's the real bottom line. Can you Are any of us really happy? No, I'm <laughs> I don't know anymore. I am. How about about 95%? <laughs> if if, if Swanee if Swanee was 15 minutes in <laughs> yeah. to the perimeter, yep. I'd be still at 100. <laughs> <laughs> um so are you happy? Oh, I am, and I'm I'm always happy for all my friends that are like getting engaged. Like I want them to be happy and like live great lives and everything. It's just you put that in the back of your head like Oh, is that where I'm supposed to be in my life too? Is like everybody's supposed to be on the same time clock? No. Or no. can I just like live my life the way I want to? See, that's the problem is we all have these milestones that we're expected to reach and people are reaching them before other people. And you you get, what mm-hmm. are you, like three? So it's like get, get engaged, get married, have babies, yeah. adopt a puppy. Like those are your four milestones. But in your 20s, there are other milestones that are happening that nobody, like I wrote down a whole new list of milestones. So it's like get out of your first toxic relationship. Like say goodbye to that person. That's a huge milestone. Buying new towels for the first time, the soft ones. <laughs> oh, that's a huge milestone. Even new socks can be fun. Like 401ks oh, yeah. and all of these things about your future, those are huge milestones, but nobody talks about it. Right. Nobody posts about it. Nobody mm-hmm. posts about it. Take a picture with your 401k, guys. <laughs> Take a selfie with that. Yeah, you got to you gotta run your own race. It's like what KK always says. Comparison is what? The thief of joy? That is it. You got to stop comparing mm-hmm. yourself and run your own race. And I promise you, even though it looks bleak now, my, I was like that in my 20s, and I caught up yeah. to my friends, and I let them know about it. I have I have caught up to you. And I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I You're like, know. look at my Insta now. Yes. All yes. right, so Mo is giving you mid-race. I'll give you end race. I have friends and peers that are my age that are passing away, and I've never had the thought, man, I wonder if I should be on that timeline. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
of a sudden you do a 180 once you cross yeah. a certain age. At some point or another, you're going to go, I'm glad where they're at. <laughs> and I'm glad where I'm at. <laughs> Keep speeding. I'm going to stay right here at this pace. <laughs> yeah, don't compare yourself to others. I mean, you really have to say, and I think that, for me anyway, the only definition of success is happiness. That mm-hmm. is it. If you are happy, mm-hmm. whatever everybody else is doing, that's great. It has nada to do with you. Yeah, I agree for sure. Because I've always been like a really individual, independent person anyway. And so I think like me being on my own path, I... I'm happy with it and I don't like regret it in any way. I just, you put that in the back of your head anytime, like you see more and more posts, especially mm-hmm. now, with, like the pandemic, I feel like more and more people are getting engaged like my age. <laughs> and I, I kind of find it kind of weird in a way, honestly, because like I couldn't expect myself to be like married, have like a husband and like kids running around. I'm like 24 years old. I don't know. It's just not the path that I feel like I should be on. Well, if you want to take a look at pandemic numbers, more and more people are getting divorced also. So the grass is brown everywhere, sister. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good talking to you. Thank you. Bye now. The Bird Show.